So welcome back to the Touch Designer and Lip Motion tutorial. So for this exercise, we're going to have a look how can you use your hand to do some drawing in three dimensional space. So first of all, we need to have our lip motion, and then you can test by using the visualizer to track your hand movement. So make sure this is okay. And then we can hit this one and then go back to our touch designer project. And as usual, we remove all the unnecessary things and then create the project folder. For example, I'm using this pen one. Then we name it with the hand test hand 001 project folder. Save it. And as you have seen that I'm still using or keeping the palette browser. So that means we also need to have something from here. So we choose the techniques. And there's one we call the gesture capture and drag it over here. So the gesture capture exactly is a very useful tool that you can send input to the first input area, which is a sequence of number that representing x, y, or x, y, z of the the three dimensional space, the position, and then the second one will be a chop. And you can use it to start and stop recording your gesture. And then the third one, you can use it to clear all your drawing. And the last one will be also another chop that is a signal to undo the last drawing lines. So for the output, the first one is a top that's corresponding to some kind of two dimensional drawing. And the second one will be the SOP that we are going to use. And the third one will be the chop numbers. So we're going to use this to create a line in a three dimensional space. So we are going to use the lip motion for the hand drawing. So we need to go back to the chop and then select our lip motion. So we can test by putting our hand on top of here. Yes. Okay. And for the parameter to simplify the matters, we we'll just track only one single hand. And also we might just track one single finger to reduce the number of output sending out from the chops. So if we zoom in. So for the hands around here, so we're going to see the hand number zero with the palm TX, TY, and TZ for the drawing exercise. Okay, so we now are ready to insert a select over here to select only the thing that we want, that is the hand zero. And then the palm for the T. So we have the TX, Y, Z, and then we name it to just TX, TY, and TZ. So this is the lip motion. So this is your palm movement. Do, 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 do. Okay. So the next thing is, so we can send this number sequence into the first input. The second one will be an on-off signal for starting, stopping the recording. And the third one is another on-off signal to clear or the join. So we're going to use some keyboard input. 
so we go back to chop and select keyboard in the first one by default is the key number one so we use it to start the recording and we can also insert a logic such that we can have a toggle so that means we only press one to start the join and then press one again to stop it so in the logic we need to choose from the channel p opt with toggle so this is one good so this is the way we're going to start stop the recording and then we have another keyboard in and instead of choosing the key one we can remove the one and choose zero instead so that means by pressing zero we would like to clear the screen then we can send it directly to the third input is the one to clear the recording okay so to have a look of the recording there is the line that we can send out in from this second output that is the SOP so we can put it into a now first for a very simple testing so with this big motion around here and then you can press 1 to start the recording and then you can put your palm on top of here so you can more or less see something moving in the now SOP and then to stop you press 1 again and to clear the join you press 0 so this is the basic logic so the next step is we try to visualize the 3D join it's already here for visualization of 3D we go back to our usual practice to have a geometry and then we have a lighting and then we have a camera so after that we perform a render from the top and then pass it to the output window you may also find that for the render it automatically linking to some invisible geometry from the gesture capture so we just want to Visualize from the geometry one, you can choose from here to type in geometry one, and then this is the only place that you would like to show your 3D graphics. In geometry one, I perform the usual step to delete this donut and to insert an input SOP. And also remember to turn on the display and render threads over here in the bottom right corner. Go back to the project one, then we are now ready to send our 3D graphic directly to here. And instead of connecting directly to here, usually we can have some fun with this one so the, the fun thing is the line that produced from the gesture showing is only one pixel of line so in this case usually we would like to make it a little bit more three-dimensional so in 3d in SOP we can have something like we call the extrude so we start E yes so when you extrude the line, it become a little bit thicker. So we can also change some of the parameters from the extrude. 
So the F scale one is a very thick line, and usually we just want to have something like O, sorry, O point O one or even thinner. So this is the thing we would like to do, and we can also try out that first by turning on the recording and then try to do some motion. And then stop the recording. Before we clear the screen, we can have a look at our 3D view over here. So there will be something like this. So we can zoom in to have a look. So this is our 3D line joy. For visualization, of course, you can insert material. So as usual, we choose the phone, and for the phone one, we drag it to the geometry and put it into the material, and then you can like change the color of your line drawing. And this is the three-dimensional view. You might find that the drawing is actually quite small. And in order to zoom in, you can move your camera a little bit closer to your graphics. Say, put it in a position of EZ1. So that will be a little bit closer. And, but it's a little bit above the horizontal line, that's the middle line. You can put it down a little bit by changing the Y position. So that will be something like this. Or if you want to even put it a little bit lower, so this is what your drawing will look like. Okay, so it's more or less done. So the final step you can just, as usual, Go to the perform window and make it full screen and borderless. Okay, and then we can have a look in the perform mode. So this is the one we have just draw, and if you press zero, it's clear again. And if you put your lip motion somewhere, and then press one and to have your hand moving around so they will draw something in three-dimensional space clear and then you can draw again okay so this is done your three-dimensional drawing and if you want to you can add a little bit more sophistication into the three-dimensional shape by rotating the whole structure slowly and in this case you can choose to chop with the bit and slow down it to like with the period 960 or even 100 and then convert this sequence of number by using the mathematics and change the range from 0 to 1 into 0 and 360 so that will be the rotation in the y-axis and if you want to you can insert and then now chop and click on the geometry turn on the viewer active and drag this one to the y rotation export so in this case your whole joint will be rotating and then it have a little bit more three dimensional basal sensation so this is your lip motion and then you can turn on the join
Okay, so this is the drawing you have done by moving your hand on top of your lip motion in a three-dimensional space. And this is what we are going to do with this one. 